Hello, and welcome to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract. Let's see what we can code in 5 Minutes with Zim. Zimjs.com. We'll press on the code page and copy the template. And we'll take that and we'll put it into Atom, like so. We're going to do that classic dropping game where things will drop and we try and catch them. <laughs> I don't know if we'll be able to do it in five minutes, but uh, let's start the timer, shall we? So uh, we started the timer. Let's make a container for the things that are dropping. We'll call it const drop is equal to a new container and uh, add it to the stage. Then we'll run a, an interval, interval of, so I'll say 500. We'll call an arrow function there. And in the interval, we'll make what we're dropping. Why don't we drop some circles? So a new circle, hmm, 20 in radius. We'll make everything black, dot loc, and we'll locate it randomly along the X, the stage width there, and then up minus 100 or something like that. We will also, uh, let's see, we'll animate this, animate, and we can animate the Y uh, props, so props, colon, the Y, down to the stage height. I wish I could type, then I'd make it. Stage height plus uh, 100, so that's down below the stage. We'll make it ease of colon linear like so, and um, in a time, a time of something like seven seconds. So that's seven seconds. Call, when we're finished, arrow function, we will remove the target. That's what we get given to that arrow function. We will say target.remove from, and that removes the target for later. And let's see if we've got some dropping now. I'm going to save that and open in browser, open in browser. And there are some circles dropping, uh, super duper. Okay, now we need a little paddle. Yeah, const paddle is equal to a new rectangle. Oh, I don't know, 100 by 40, something like that. Who knows? We will dot center that, and then we're going to pose it at the bottom. So null for no movement in the X. Uh, how about 40 up from the bottom, null again for not from the right, and then true for from the bottom. Yay! We'll make that paddle as well um, go in a motion controller. So, whoa. Uh, new motion controller. Paddle. Please operate on the paddle. And we'll make that work with a key down or seven second or seven pixels every time and let's see what is how about horizontal horizontal that sounds good horizontal like so and let's see if our paddle moves along the bottom of the stage as we go that's a pretty thick paddle okay there it goes oh yeah look at that go but we have not we're not catching anything yet so we'll set it up so that we catch things to do that we'll test all the time in a ticker dot add an arrow function and inside uh, this arrow function, we can loop through the container. Did we make a container? What do we call it? Drop, yeah. Did we add these things to drop? Mm, no, okay, so comma drop. There we are locating it inside drop, that third parameter there. And then we can say drop dot loop. And here we are looping through and we make an arrow function. Each time we loop, though, we are given the circle. Circle. So the circle in drop, that's that's what that is. And then we can ask if the paddle uh, dot hit test rect. If we're hitting the rectangle, oh, that's not a rectangle. If we're hitting the circle of circle, then we will say circle dot remove from. And there we go. I think that will probably do it. Oh, if I could just put a semicolon on the end of that. Let's uh, see. Oh, loop backwards. Anytime you're looping and removing things, you have to loop backwards. And that true goes right in there, like so. And let's try her out. Woohoo! So refresh. We have a paddle. We're moving the paddle. We didn't put bounds on the paddle. Bop, 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 bop. Good. 
oh, I missed it, and we could add a score and that kind of stuff. You just keep track of these types of things. And ladies and gentlemen, pause that ticker. Four minutes and 36 seconds. Uh, we have made a falling game. You can convert that to a falling and catching game. You can say, hey, certain things are good, certain things are bad. Add a score, that type of thing, or how many things you've collected, how long stuff is going on. That's pretty neat, huh? And of course, you can make those into whatever you want. A bunch of fruit falling, and then you've got a little basket in the bottom, or a bunch of kids falling, oh, and you've got a little school bus at the bottom. So add some relevance to it. I'm not sure uh, what, <laughs> that's the best idea. But it's not too bad, and that's what we can make in five minutes with Zim, or indeed code in five minutes with Zim. I am Dr. Abstract. If you're still here, come join us, zimjs.com slash slack. We look forward to seeing you. Ciao.